So I need to confess that even though I'm a pastor, I don't tend to like Christian entertainment, whether it's Christian TV shows or Christian movies or Christian uh, fiction. Um, I tend to find it pretty cheesy and pretty campy and force feeding a gospel message to people. But this new series, The Chosen, is fantastic. And it's so good, and the quality is so good, and the storytelling is so good, I think even non-Christians would really enjoy this. So let's talk about episode one today. Hey there everybody, it's Rev Kev here. Pray you're having an amazing day. Welcome to my Geek Corner, where today I want to talk about episode one of The Chosen. Now, if you're not familiar with this series, this is a series that was created by Dallas Jenkins. Uh, I don't know exactly when it came out. It's probably at least a good year old, but it just really came to my attention uh, in the past little, uh, last few months. Again, because I don't tend to follow Christian entertainment. I, 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 I mean, yes, sometimes they're really good stories and they're nice feel-good stories, but they're actually not something I feel that other people, if you're not a Christian, would enjoy. Um, because it just feels forced a lot of the time. And when there is, you know, a bad guy, they're not overly bad because as Christians, we have to keep it PG or something. So the bad guys become jokes. So anyways, this is an amazing initiative uh, from Dallas Jenkins. And what he did, it's basically a crowdfunding initiative to put this series on. Now, it's not a limited series. It's a full-blown uh, kind of running season, uh, a running series multiple series uh, 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 this isn't just like a mini series or a movie this is like a long running uh, series that they have planned with multiple seasons you know uh, I think there was about eight episodes in season number one season number two is about to come out soon season number three is being crowdfunded right now and it's kind of a really cool initiative on how they built this to run is you can watch it completely free so you don't need to subscribe to like a Netflix or an Amazon Prime to watch it. Um, it's being distributed by VidAngel, which is a service that tends to be, um, you know, Christians tend to subscribe to it to, you know, guard the content, you know, more family friendly content uh, for their families. Uh, so they distribute it, but you don't even need to subscribe to their service to watch it. You can go to a streaming, uh, just go to your uh, app store and search for The Chosen, or you can just watch it online. And what's really cool is you can watch it for free. They, you don't have to subscribe, but if you do want to pay it forward, if you did enjoy it, like my wife and I did, you can subscribe to it. And what your subscription gives you is it allows for episodes to be made and for other people to enjoy it for free. So um, I've subscribed to it so that you could watch it completely for free. <laughs> so, and, and I think it is worth checking out. So obviously what they do in order to make this long running in multiple seasons, they are, are not sticking to the biblical text. So it's not like you could sit there, argh, let me just grab this here. I always have one of these nearby. So it's not like you could sit there and grab your Bible and go kind of word for word through one of the gospel accounts and see exactly what's going on. They take liberty um, as they've researched the culture of, you know, Palestine 2000 years ago and what it would have been like. And you're introduced to all the, the characters who get called by Jesus to follow him. You're introduced to Mary Magdalene. A very powerful scene. It actually, again, you know, I don't like kind of scary movies. I don't like horror movies. And Mary Magdalene is possessed by a legion of demons. You're introduced to Nicodemus, who is the, the Hebrew uh, Pharisee. Um, who goes to Mary Magdalene to try to exercise the demons out of her and he's unable to do it because these demons are so powerful and he declares that only God himself could ever remove these demons from this woman. So she's kind of left to her fate. You're introduced to uh, Andrew and Simon who are two brothers. Simon later becomes known as Peter and you you kind of learn you know about their life a little bit as fishermen and how basically you know fishing life is pretty tough in that region of Galilee, and they basically try to scam people out of money by participating in uh, ancient fight club, <laughs> for lack of better words. Um, and again, so, and you're introduced to Matthew, the tax collector, who kind of has a little bit of a you know a germaphobe issue, and kind of has a little bit of a tick. I don't know if there's kind of a autism play at there. Really, really good at numbers. Really, really bright. You're introduced to Roman centurions and different people like that. Just set in the scene 
of all these people that Jesus is going to come to and say, come and follow me. And, and again, the production value of this is fantastic. It, it doesn't come across as overly preachy. It doesn't come across as uh, too light and fluffy. Like again, life in that time period was rough. It wasn't easy. It wasn't simple for people with Roman occupation. And, and you really get a, a really good sense of that. I think really the only other time I've ever enjoyed, like really, really, really enjoyed and really recommended to non-Christians a piece of, um, uh, of entertainment that was based on scripture is The Passion of the Christ, which was directed by Mel Gibson. Now that's an extreme rated R blood fest about the crucifixion of Jesus. But here you get the kind of the humanity of Christ. You get the full divinity of Christ. You get to see the humanity of the people around him. And this episode one, again, with Mary Magdalene's possession, and it finishes with Mary Magdalene uh, coming face to face with Jesus. Spoiler alert. <laughs> she is healed of these demons. Um, and again, just a great way to introduce these characters as they start to become you know, aware of who Jesus is and his ministry. So I'm going to put a link to episode one here in the description of this video. Again, you can check it out completely free. You can watch it on YouTube. You can watch it through the app and um, give, it a, give it a shout. Like, uh, give it a shot. Like, it's again, maybe I'm biased as a guy who likes Jesus, <laughs> but I actually think it's well done and is well worth checking out. The uh, My wife and I watched the first eight episodes and we're going to go through it again because it was, it was excellent. It was really, really excellent. You know, and um, I actually love, I think one of my favorite, favorite characters so far, right from episode one, is um, Nicodemus, the Hebrew Pharisee. Uh, he's actually be, uh, played by Eric Avari. Now, if you're not familiar with who he is, you know, Google his name, you know, big name actor. Um, he was Electra's father in the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie. <laughs> so, because uh, I just watched Daredevil the other day, because that movie's great. So, wait a minute, don't let me liking Daredevil reflect you not watching The Chosen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so, you know, great show, great first episode, totally free. Watch it on YouTube, watch it through the app, and would love to know what you think of it. You know, if you do watch it, I would love to have a conversation with you and put that in the comment section below. Heck, I'd even like, love, maybe even live stream, you know, with some people of faith and people of, you know, different faith, maybe not a Christian faith or no faith at all, and talk about this and how well this is put together. Um, because, again, I don't tend to promote this stuff. And this one, for its entertainment value, I think is well worth checking out. So that's, you know, just wanted to kind of let you know about that. So, again, put it in the comment section below. If you watch episode one of The Chosen, would love to know what you thought of that first episode and what you think of the crowdfunding idea to make these episodes. I think it's brilliant. Um, would love to know your thoughts. And uh, yeah, so until the next video, just thank you so much for joining us. Again, I so appreciate those of you who comment, who like, who dislike, who subscribe. It really means the world to me. And until the next video, God bless.